This is Rap Son, worshiping the Most High God of Israel alone and carrying on the legacy and teachings of my father and our dear messenger, Rap the News. Shalom, my family. If the Most High is willing, we are going to go a bit over the Feast of the Trumpets. And if the Most High is willing, then the next video will be about the Day of Atonement. And that will follow shortly after. I could have put them together, but I wanted them separate. So maybe it would be easier for people to follow. So I saw in the comments, Brother White Raptor News. He was asking about what happens on the 1st. Um, so there will probably be a few more of our brothers and sisters who might have missed it or might have forgotten. So this is to make sure as much as our family is aware as possible. Because the Feast of Trumpets on February 1st and the Day of Atonement on February 10th, they are both extremely important for our souls. And I don't want anyone to miss them. Now, the Feast of Trumpets is to be observed not only when we were in Israel, but it also needs to be observed in captivity as well. So we're still in the land of our captivity, but we need to observe it. And need to be observed by all of Israel. So all my family out there, you need to observe the Day of Atonement, but the Feast of Trumpets as well. So all of Israel needs to observe it on the first day of the seventh month. It's a very important day for us Israelites, so make sure you don't miss it, Israel. If the Most High is willing, we will be observing the Feast of Trumpets on February 1st. So that's in about maybe five days. In the evening when the sun goes down, that's when we observe it. The Feast of Trumpets begins on the first day of the seventh month on the new moon. It is one of the seven Hebrew feasts appointed by the Most High. The Feast of Trumpets mark the beginning of the ten days of the consecration and repentance before the Most High. It is a commandment to begin to blow the trumpets. So we have already ordered the shofar and the silver trumpet. And it's on its way if the Most High is willing and should make it before the first. Also, if the Most High is willing, we'll make a video of the trumpet being blown. During the celebration, we are not to do any work, so it's just like the it's just like the Sabbath. But burnt offerings and a sin offering from Israel from Israel were to be brought before the Most High by the priests. Now Rap was going to be the one to handle it, but now that duty is left on me, if the Most High is willing, and hopefully that takes a bit off, I mean a bit of a load off of Brother Desha Deshaun's shoulders because, I don't know, I guess he handled him quite a bit. So Leviticus 23, 24 speak to the children of Israel saying in the seventh month on the first day of the month you shall have a Sabbath rest so again it's just like a Sabbath day you don't do no work a memorial of blowing of the trumpets a holy convocation numbers 29 and 1 and in the seventh month on the first day of the month you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any customary work. For you it is a day of blowing the trumpets. The word trumpet blast is translated as teruah, which means a shout or a blowing. It appears that the shofar, which is the ram's horn, was to be blown at the time it was to be blown at this time and the silver trumpet has Ozera that's what is also referred to as to be used in the feast of the trumpets the importance of the feast of the trumpets is to commemorate the end of the agricultural 
and festival year. Also a solemn time of preparation for the Day of Atonement. This preparation was called the Ten Days of Repentance or the Days of All. Now Israel, in the Days of All, you have to have remorse for all the sins you have ever done. Every sin you ever done, you need to have remorse for it. You can't repent or have true remorse for your sins if you're going to keep sinning with a set purpose. So if you're doing sin on purpose, you know, you're going out there fornicating, you're doing drugs, whatever you may be doing, anything that's against the Most High, then you can't repent. You don't have no true remorse. So it's not going to be accepted of you. You got to practice self-restraint. The trumpet was an alarm for a call to introspection and repentance. Now, introspection is the examination or observation of one's own mental and emotional processes. So, Israel, you need to take a deep and intense look at yourself. You need to reflect on all the sins you have ever done in your life and truly repent to the Most High and do your best to never return to that evil. The good doesn't matter, meaning you never have to worry about the good. You have to worry about the evil that places you in jeopardy of going to the fire to burn forever. You can't do the fire. Just like Rap used to say, light up the barbecue grill and go hop, hop on it. You can't even do that. So you can't burn forever because you're going to be forgotten. And according to people who dream or according to people who supposedly had near-death experiences, uh, when the Most High departs from you, then it's like the worst feeling ever. It's the feeling of hopelessness. You no longer have hope. Joel 2 and 1. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. And some virgins say it's nigh, but it's at hand and nigh is, you know. So if you look at the world today, you see the wars, they all gearing up for the war. Uh, you see, well, I see, you know, all these crazy people. Um, they they crazy on the road when they driving and everything else like that. And then not only that, uh, one thing that I plan to do a video about is uh, the prediction that Carlos Munez Ferrada made about the planet, as rap called it, you know, planet hell. Um, he made a prediction about that, that there's three locations that I was going to hit. Italy, East Java, and I believe the last one was Chile. Somewhere around there, by Chile. And I'm going to make a video showing that it's already hit those three locations. And after that, he said, everybody hold on as you can. Because the planet is about to show up. So we very near the end according to all the signs that I see. Now Rap also, he said it was bad three months ago. Well, look at us now. It's even worse. And it's going to get worse as we keep going on. There was a sister that Rap played in his video telling her dream. She said Rap was in her dream and told her, we have 30 to 90 days left, give or take. And my sister, she also had a dream that said we had three days left, which could mean three months. Well, this is on November 11. So the third month is going to fall on February 10th. 90 days pretty much that's what it's gonna fall on and just like rap I'm not saying anything's gonna happen but it could very well be possible you know and it could be possible that when the trumpet is sounded in the evening of the feast of trumpets that the most high will also sound his trumpet 
it also could be possible that we could be delivered on that day which would be amazingly wonderful like I'm so sick of this world being at rest you know on a day of atonement which is a day of rest so no work is to be done on that day just like no work is to be done on the, the feast of trumpets uh, rap believe that these things could possibly happen but again I'm not saying it will happen just like he didn't say it will happen for a fact but I definitely just like he does believe it's a possibility because if you think about it it just makes a lot of sense especially with you know these verses that we're about to read the coming of the most high will be accompanied by the blast of a trumpet that's 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 52, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. Each judgment is signaled by a trumpet. So if it's going to be the judgment of the Gentiles, Babylon, the nations, it has to be signaled by a trumpet. Hebrews should turn their attention to the Most High and ready themselves for the Day of Atonement. Now, it should start now. You should already be preparing, getting your thoughts in order, getting your deeds in order, and already reflecting. But starting the first day, which is the Feast of Trumpets, you have all the way until the 10th day, which is the Day of Atonement, but you need to be ready by the 9th day. Don't be sinning, be reflecting and repenting. Just what you gotta do. It's like, enough is enough. It's enough with your sins. So will the trump of the Most High call us to heaven and warn the world of the coming of judgment. So I'm ready to be called, hopefully, because, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm sick of this world. Now again, the Feast of Trumpets is on February 1st, and the Day of Atonement is on February 10th. So make sure you mark your calendars, put it in your phone, whatever you got to do. Because both is extremely important for our souls, so don't miss them. Be prepared for the Day of Atonement. You should already be, be reflecting and repenting and desist your sin. But you have from the Feast of the Trumpets... The first day all the way until the ninth day by the ninth day you better be prepared and ready don't be sitting be reflecting and repenting this is rap son